Okay, so in our last video, we just kind of went through all the different possible reactions you can do with an alkyne. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at what else we could do with an alkyne, this carbon-carbon bond forming reaction I keep talking about. So one of the unique features of alkynes is that the proton for a terminal alkyne is acidic. So I can take a strong base. It has to be a strong base. You can't just use, and I'm sorry, when I say strong base here, I don't mean strong base uh, like sodium hydroxide is a strong base. I mean strong base in the sense of like, whoa, that's a really, really strong base. So hydroxide is not going to be strong enough. Um, it has to be sodium amide, which is what I've drawn here, or sodium hydride, or something that has a pKa, or something whose conjugate acid has a pKa, rather, um, that is higher than probably, you know, 30, right? So ammonia, pK is like 35. Um, you can use something like sodium hydride. So any, these are different bases you can use to deprotonate. And it doesn't matter to me which one you use, but you know, if you're given a question on an exam or a quiz or something, um, you might just want to be familiar with some of them. So LDA is really common. This is lithium diisopropyl amide. It's like this, has a lithium atom attached to it. Usually you just see LDA written for that. But those are some common bases. So things that won't work will be like hydroxide, you know? That's not going to be strong enough to deprotonate it. So you got to use something really strong. Okay, so allowing us, or this, uh, being able to deprotonate it and form this carbanion, we get this really reactive species. And what we can do with that is react it with some sort of alkyl halide or haloalkane. I like to say alkyl halide, same thing. Book, I think, says haloalkane. Um, and what will happen is the negative charge uh, on the alkyne anion will get and it'll hack that carbon atom. And when it does that, we'll break a bond to the halogen atom. And the result is we formed a carbon-carbon bond. So this is a carbon atom. And this is very obviously a carbon atom. And we can see down here that we've kind of clicked those two things together. And now we have a carbon-carbon bond there. Um, you know, the mechanism that I've shown here is the actual mechanism. These arrows are true. We're going to study that in detail. Uh, the limitation of this reaction, so this reaction works with any primary alkyl halide. And so when we talk about carbons, we can talk about them being primary. That means you've got a carbon atom, so with, in this case, be a carbon atom that's attached to one other carbon group. They can be secondary, meaning that the carbon atom is actually attached to two other groups. They can be tertiary, meaning that the carbon atom is itself attached to three other carbon atoms. Or they can be quaternary, meaning that our carbon atom is attached to four other carbons. The only one that works in this reaction is primary. Um, so here I have, you know, I guess even less than primary. So primary, you're attached to one carbon. Um, it'll also work with a methyl halide, which is really what this would be. Um, but that's sort of a unique case. So let's look at another example here. So let's say that I want to take this. I wanted to react it with a primary alkyl halide that might look something like this. So when I'm saying primary, I'm looking here at that carbon atom. I'm saying, how many carbons is that carbon attached to? And it's just this one other one. So that's how I know it's primary. This will come in and cleanly react there, kick that off. And now I've made this. Yeah, 
actually try and be consistent with my colors here. So we've got that. We take this, and then the bond that we formed over here clicks those two colors together to give us another new carbon carbon bond. Um, you know, the complexity of the molecule that you use to form this can be pretty high, as long as it's primary. So I could take something like, oops, I'm running out of space here. I don't know, here, how about this? I'll put a little cyclopropane at the end. Um, so I can take this molecule that I just made up, um, and I can react that with it. And I'm still going to get a reaction out of that. I'm going to go ahead and number this here, which you should probably do as well. Okay, we've got one, two, three. That means three has the methyl group, and then four is actually included inside of the cyclopropane. And so just because we're limited to primary alkyl halides doesn't mean that we can't form lots of complex stuff. It just means, you know, we can only form complex stuff so long as that carbon is primary. If I try and do this reaction on something that's secondary, so let's say something simple even like this. So now when I look at this carbon atom, I see that it's attached to two other carbons. So now this is secondary. And we know, because I told you, that that doesn't work. And we end up seeing for this is a different product that's not a carbon-carbon bond. So we don't get the product we want, not product we want. And we're going to learn about what product we do get um, we get to, not, I think it's not next chapter, but maybe the chapter after. Um, we're going to learn about that in more detail probably than anybody wants to learn about it. But we don't get the product we want, right? So that's the limitation of this reaction. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, so um, in our next video, we're going to take a look at how to take this piece uh, and maybe some of our other chemical reactions. We're going to start trying to put some of this stuff together uh, to do some synthesis. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll jump immediately into this carbon-carbon bond forming thing, but we'll work some problems maybe from the workbook to get you guys going in that direction. This, this stuff, this is this step here, going for the carbon-carbon bond forming reactions, is can be a little bit difficult sometimes. So. We'll try and ease into that.